process of digestion the small intestine we have seen how the food is digested by the secretions of the inner lining of the stomach from the stomach the partially digested food also called the chyme enters the small intestine the small intestine is a highly coiled tunnel like tube which is the longest section of the digestive tract it is approximately 7.5 meters long and is divided into three segments namely duodenum jejunum and ileum each with a different digestive function the small intestine receives secretions from the liver and the pancreas besides secreting digestive juices itself liver is the largest gland in the body it is reddish brown and is situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side it secretes bile juice which is temporarily saved in a sac called the gall bladder the bile juice plays an important role in the digestion of fats the pancreas is a large cream colored gland positioned just below the stomach it has a narrow tube which joins the bile duct This tube is called the pancreatic duct. The pancreas secretes the pancreatic juice that helps to digest the carbohydrates and proteins. The food then reaches the lower part of the small intestine where the intestinal juice completes the digestion and converts the carbohydrates into simple sugars and glucose, proteins into amino acids and and the fats to fatty acids and glycerol now the digested food passes into the blood vessels in the wall of small intestine this process is known as absorption the inner walls of the small intestine possess millions of small finger like projections called villi which increase the surface area for absorption of digested food by almost 8 times Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The absorbed digested food is then transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances required by the body such as proteins. This is called assimilation. Energy needed for various activities is obtained by the breakdown of glucose in the cells glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released for various metabolic activities of the body the remaining undigested and unabsorbed food then enters the large intestine <laughs>